This is a special presentation of AreaCable.com and the Area Guides Network. Produced by CraigShip.com with special guests from around the globe. I'm Peter McDermott, and now on to our feature presentation. Hi, everybody. My name is Paige. I want to thank you for joining my Hangout Pageant Live. This is really about the ins and outs of pageantry, modeling, and everything in between. A little bit about myself, I was given the title of 2012 Maryland International Junior Miss. I've competed in two pageants and will be competing this July in Orlando, Florida for nationals. I wanted to everybody to introduce introduce themselves a little bit. Um, if we want to start with our newest guest, Milady, and you just want to tell us a little bit about yourself and your pageant experience or anything like that. Sure. Well, currently, as Paige was mentioning, that she'll be competing in July this year in Orlando, Florida. I am from our not Orlando, but from Florida. <laughs> currently holding the title as International Junior Miss 2011. Uh, not looking forward to nationals, I must say, because I do not want to give up my crown, but I must say I'm very excited for the new queen to be able to uphold this wonderful title. I have competed in other pageants before, but like I've always done in any pageants ask, I don't mention other pageants as currently I am an international title holder, so I want to be able to respectfully say that throughout the time that I've been in pageantry, I've had the most best experience throughout International Junior Miss, and I hope that anyone that joins today and can see me and can just see every Everything I've done and what we will talk about, they can just join in and see what we do as pageantry girls nowadays. <laughs> All right, Kaylee, you want to go ahead? Hi, my name is Kaylee, and I live in Georgia. I am a college student, and I have competed in some pageants, in high school pageants, and then when I graduated high school, I competed in one. I don't really know if I want to continue doing pageants or stop where I am. But I have competed in a few, and those that I did compete in, I did have a good time. So I did like them. And then Chastity. Hi, I'm Chastity. I'm an entrepreneur. You probably can't hear me. Hear me? Mm -hmm. You can? All right. Um, I'm an entrepreneur. I have two businesses. I do Christian art, and I am, I'm also a network marketer and direct saleswoman. I've never been in pageants. Uh, I thought it was interesting when I was younger, but my mom wouldn't let me, so never had the opportunity to experience such awesome stuff. The lady, what do I have to look forward to going to nationals? I'm kind of nervous. I'm preparing. <laughs> I'm definitely preparing, but what am well, I getting myself into? You're getting into the blast of a lifetime, I must say. I, I can say if you're preparing work ten times as much as you think that you should because when I went to nationals I was a nervous wreck. I don't think that was the best I've ever competed in my life. Really? I think I went there and I gave it my all but then at the end of the night I was just like did I really give it my all? So it is a bit nerve-wracking but you'll have tons of fun. I know I have a bunch of responsibilities this year and the queen that would have to fill in my shoes will have a whole bunch to fill in but you're getting into a very great program. You'll love Miss Nikki, who is our director, and everything you'll do throughout the year, even if um, someone doesn't become the national title holder. You have a lot to right. look forward to. And you tra don't you travel throughout the, um, the country? You go to different pageants and things like that, right? I mean, yes. What do you do as I a mean, title I've, holder? I've had the opportunity of choreographing every opening dance at all the states I've been to. I mean, I met you at your state mm -hmm. pageant. From there, I went to Georgia. I went to New York. I went to Tennessee. I just came back from there, and I hosted. I co-hosted. I choreographed. I mean, it's everything from production to the girls, getting to know them, interviews, seeing how they react and how to, you know, calm their nerves and everything around that. And everything that has to do with pageantry, I've learned hands-on with International Junior Miss as a national title holder. You are so busy and then you also go to college, don't you too? Yes, I do. So that was also a big like challenge for me and I challenge myself because it's my responsibility to be able to just travel around and be able to do this and that's why I thank God overall because Monday, Thursdays I had school, Fridays through Sunday I would travel, come back the next day, two hours, probably four of sleep to go to school the next day. So. 
<laughs> I oh mean, it's what I wanted to do and it's the experience I wanted. And as long as you have the whole heart to go for it and do it, then you should. Right. How did you get selected to do choreography? Well, being the interna um, international title holder, my director saw that I was very intellectually capable of handling certain situations. And she asked me for my first pageant, kind of seeing and testing me if I was able to do certain things and asked me to choreograph an opening dance. And it was New York, so it wasn't such a big pageant, but she wanted to see if I could do it. And since I passed that, her little test, then I was able to expand in her, I'm sending you to Georgia, I'm sending you to Delaware, oh and I want gosh. you to choreograph. And I was like, okay. So when I say I have more responsibility now at nationals, it's because I'm choreographing the young girls. So it's like... I'm up to here, but I'm happy because I'm like, why not? It's my last chance at nationals, and I'm going to give it my all. You definitely, you <laughs> choreographed really well, too. Excuse me? I'm sorry. Go ahead, Chastity. What did you say? Do they pay for your travel, or do you still have to come up with that yourself? Well, it's always, it's always something that everyone asks me, and I say, well, the opportunity was given to a miss. You know, we are of age to understand that we have the capacity to travel, to understand that we can weigh school and be able to give part of our time to the international title. So yes, they paid for my stay and for for where I was going to stay, what I was going to eat, who I was going to stay with, and just room and board the whole, the, and my flights as well. But like I say, um, when you have sister queens, it's very hard sometimes to explain that I'm at a certain age and I'm able and capable to do certain things because I didn't just go there to watch a show. I was actually making the show happen. And for that, it takes a lot of responsibility. So yes, um, having that responsibility gave me the opportunity to travel and then to pay for everything. Right. And it's also kind of, I mean, I guess you could say your job, you know. Right, That's exactly. Kind of how I feel also um, with, you know, my title, I kind of, I also feel that it is my job also and I have these responsibilities to fulfill exactly. as a title holder. Mm -hmm. But um, Kaylee, tell us about your high school pageants because we know that's a lot different than, you know, any pageants, a state pageant or anything like that. It's a lot lower key. So were you still, you know, is it still was it still nerve wracking and stressful for you competing, even though it was a lower level? Yes, I was very stressed out. It was my first pageant, and I was I competed my senior year. It was my first pageant since I was in middle school. So I hadn't competed in a pageant in a long time, and it was the first time that I had to do a talent in front of an audience. So I was very nervous. I, God, I practiced a lot. I was I was pretty nervous, but um, it I liked it. It was fun, and that was my major thing was my talent. I didn't know what to expect being out there on stage in front of everybody doing what I was doing, and I didn't know. I was scared. I was nervous. I didn't know what to think. But competing in a national or like a like national, do you have to have a talent? No, not whatsoever. The International Junior Miss program, they concentrate on what it is, your modeling, uh, your elegant walk, which is your gown, and your interview and introduction. That's what bases off the competition. Anything else that you would do extra, like for instance, talent, commercial, a spokes model, which is uh, giving a speech, that's all additional stuff. Nothing that counts towards your end of the score, just things that you'll get rewarded for and given a national title for. Right. See, pageants down here in the South, you have they have to have talent. That is a part. Talent, swimsuit, your on-stage question. We don't... I competed in a pageant after I had graduated and it was a local pageant, like a county pageant, and we had to do a swimsuit, we had to do an on-stage question, we didn't have to do an interview, and we had to also do a talent. So, But um, if you did a county fair pageant, it probably was for the Miss America sister programs, because mm -hmm. usually they do county fairs, and then they'll do little prelims, and those prelims do have the swimsuit, the question on stage, a talent, because it is a Miss America system. Right. I think that um, some people do get kind of confused of the different um, yep. programs, different America, USA, you know, everything like that. People, A lot of people don't realize that there's so many pageants. Mm -hmm. And I, I was actually looking it up. Hold on. I looked it up and wrote it down. Some of the titles that people 
um, have, and one was like Miss, there's Miss Snake Charmer, Miss Fire Ant, and Underwater, like <laughs> Underwater Queen. There's so many pageants. There seriously is, and I do think. Paige, wow. um, yeah. if you all click on your little YouTube tab at the top there, See the little YouTube tab? Uh huh, I see that. We've got a little little video we can play. Let me oh, know when yeah. you all can see it. Can you all see the video? Oh, yeah, we can okay, see it. Okay, so we'll go ahead and play this and then you all can comment on it. This is Kaylee Strap. That's a nice dress, girl. I really do like it. This is Kaylee, and she was real, she was like in high school. She's really young here. I can't see this. Where, what are y'all looking at? You need to push the YouTube tab at the top. Oh. Top left. I see it. <laughs> yeah. I've known Kaylee forever. I'm pretty sure. I wonder if I was at that pageant. I still don't see it. Uh, for some reason, it doesn't want to play again. I'm trying to get it to play again. You were cute, Kaylee. It was I in my red dress. Yes. You got you that. How did you get that? Just wondering. I think it would only play once, <laughs> Kaylee. Sorry about that. It's okay. It's fine. But that was me, my senior year. No, that it wasn't. What, in that red dress? That was your senior year. I believe so. Well, see, m'lady, where you went to high school, did you guys have high school pageants? No, not at all. I never and, had a high school pageant. And where did you, because you live in Florida, right? Did you go to a high school in Florida? Yeah, yeah. So, of course, I'm, I went to four different high schools. <laughs> so, like, every year I went to a different high school. <laughs> What? Yeah, I went from public to private to private to charter. So, well, it was a change that I had to like adapt to. <laughs> wow, but I did that. Did you? Yeah, I was I'm a military brat. So three years tops, but I had two high schools. So four. But every two three years, I had to change schools. Well, to tell you the truth, I took it, well, because I was, like, young in high school, and I took it as in, okay, this year I'm going to be preppy, the next year I'm going to be foul, yeah. Are <laughs> you dead? And you're like, no one knows me, might as well. Uh-uh, exactly. <laughs> that is so funny. Yeah. But God, four different, I couldn't imagine doing that. Yeah, I mean, I adopted, I did it all through, well, I did it all through middle school and high school, so I was already used to it. Wow. I was my senior year at a new school, and I really was just like, I only need three classes to graduate because all my private schools was very advanced, so I was very advanced from everyone else. So, so oh, so you were just trying to get out of there and get I to was college, weren't you? Out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. But still, still, you guys, there wasn't any, there wasn't pageants there, was there? I'm pretty sure because Kaylee's from a really, really small town in Georgia. And, um, I mean, I used to live there as well at the time. I've known her since I was, like, third grade. Um, but they did. They, and that was the big thing there. Like, Pat, you know, I'm in Maryland, and it's so different because people don't really understand or kind of don't really give you as much credit for, you know, it's a lot of work. And people don't give you as much credit or, of course, you know, um, they are stereotypes. A lot of stereotypes, and um, they don't really understand. But uh, like Georgia, like that is pageant country. You know, places like that. I don't know if Florida, is, but no, Florida really isn't. It's not when it comes down to high school. I mean, you have the girls. Like for instance, I know you guys know Nam, right? Nam and Cud. Those two pageants are like. Hard they probably hard. don't. I do. <laughs> in Florida, so National American Miss and American Coed are like one of the two big pageants here. And you see the girls really compete for that. But, like, when it comes down to high school, like having those high school pageants, you know, I've never seen that. Yeah. 
I mean, yeah, yeah we definitely not up here either. I mean, we've never had, we never I know, had I went to Delaware and I was just a little shocked to see a lot of different things than what I've seen down here. So Really? It, like, for instance, they don't give you enough credit. It really doesn't give you guys enough credit. For oh, I know. And even, it was kind of like, I kind of had to, um, like talk my own my own friends into it because at first they're like what are you you know what are you doing and then I'm like you know like this is this is what I do this is what I want to do because I don't I really none of I don't think any other girls from my high school did pageants until I competed and then I saw a lot more girls start competing wow but yeah I only knew one girl in my high school who uh, was in the pageants but I actually forgot her name. But she did really well. She See, in, there you go. And she's in Maryland. <laughs> I'm in the SBA president. I, her name just escapes me right now. But she was modeling in Seventeen Magazine. She had a little something, a page or something like that. See, it opens doors for you, too. People don't realize that. Right. I, I thought that was, I can't remember her name. She's probably on the internet and everything. She's probably made a big. <laughs> it's that. Right. And I bet you, Kaylee, you know so many girls in pageants. So many. But, um, I can't hear her. You can't hear Kaylee? Sorry. No, my fault. Oh, there you go. I forgot to turn it on. Oh, so when you compete in pageants, would it be best to have a big poofy dress or a smaller inner dress to show off your body? Show off your body. <laughs> Just saying. I think it's what you prefer, but I think you're right, m'lady. Oh, well, because of her age, it's not like I want to put you in a Cinderella-looking dress. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Because I know some pageants down here, maybe it's just different with high school pageants, but a lot of girls from the high school pageants wear big, goofy dresses. I couldn't understand why. I was one of the few, yes, I was one of the few who wore a skinny dress. Like, I guess for, for high school, it makes sense kind of sense when, where you see those drop down dresses and they're not too poofy but they do have enough like cloth for you to say that it's poofy but when it comes down to your age now because you're in college and all I wouldn't go with the poofy that will just make you look like you're 15 again <laughs> yeah, I agree now I remember in middle schools all the girls wore poofy dresses but I think that was more appropriate for their age mm -hmm. um, the lady I had a question for you also I know that I mean, I haven't competed in that many passions, but from what I have done, it really has opened so many doors for me. And I just can't imagine, you know, everything that's being a national title holder. You know, what doors has that opened for you? How's that benefited you? Well, definitely, I must say, I've had a bunch of recognition from everywhere. I mean, for when I went to New York and then we did the runway show and getting to know all the different designers, and I. I had people contact me to come to New York for photo shoots, for to, uh, what is it called, have or make a speech about what it is to have your dreams come true, being able to be that voice in the crowd, and travel. I mean, I think that was one of my biggest goals since like growing up in pageantry, which I didn't start so young. I started when I was like about 14. And I've always wanted the opportunity to travel. I had the recognition of coming out in Supermodels Unlimited magazine. I had the, like I'm saying, it just brings you so much for you to touch your community in all aspects. You just have to know how to reach out, go, and actually make an effort of making a difference. Because if you don't, then it's like you really didn't do anything. I agree. I definitely agree. Um, and it's just, I mean, I've said this, I think I said this last time on the show, it's just so crazy for me because I'll be at appearances and things, and um, people will be, I know people do this to you, oh, Miss Marilyn, Miss Marilyn, take a picture with me, like, can I have your autograph? Okay. It's just so, it's just, I'm still not used to it, you know, right. and I'm sure you probably never get used to it, really. No, you really don't. It's like, really? You want a picture with me? I'm like, yes, oh, don't you feel like, oh, honored. Yeah. Yes, I do. I definitely, I feel honored. I'm like, oh my gosh. Yeah. Really? And that's, that's very important. That's one thing that people have to understand about what they see as beauty queens. No, we're just young women that are yeah. foundation, that like we're trying to grow as leaders of today. And having that mindset of having your feet on the ground and seeing every moment for what it is and not expanding it and blowing up your head, because that's what usually people think that we do, but we absolutely don't. I agree. And, I, and we are normal people. I know I'll do some things like, I'll be like, 
eating like eating a cheeseburger. You like, you can eat that? Like you're in a pageant. Right? Oh my Seriously? Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Seriously, yeah. Yes, yeah. yes I eat that. I know. Yes, I just don't think people realize, you know, we are people too. We're just mm. You know, it's just different. Yeah. We all have our differences. We all have what we can give to this world. And but the thing about us is that we're actually taking that challenge of actually doing something different. I agree. And I mean, not that. I mean, Chastity and Kaylee, you guys are doing your own thing. You know, Chastity, you're an entrepreneur, and Kaylee, you're a student. You know, everyone has their own thing. Okay. Um, and that you know you can grow from and learn things from. And um, but. So I think pageantry definitely has uh, taught me a lot about myself, and also I think I've definitely matured a lot from it. Definitely. I think it definitely does give each and every one of us a different foundation understanding of what, who we are in life. Mm-hmm. I agree. But um, Chastity or Kaylee, did you guys have any questions from a lady or anyone or me? Anything? No. I don't have any questions. Chastity can't hear you. What? Is your mic on mute? It is. No, it's not. It's, it's on now. Okay. Okay, I can hear it. I got you what? Got you interested in pageants, or is it just because it's so big and bold that's what started you? Peter. I'm sorry. Peter, Mc, Peter McDermott has has joined the. Hangout, ladies. Hello, uh, Peter. Paige, I'll let you. Um, I'll let you introduce Peter to the panel. Among other things, we're going to try to rope Peter into helping us with doing an intro for our for our series of shows. Um, okay. He's taking his headphones off. He doesn't want to hear that, I guess. So, Paige, yeah. why don't you introduce him to the panel? Okay. Well, first, I'm Paige. I'm the 2012 Maryland International Miss title holder. And then we have Milady. Oh, well, Craig told me to do that. Yeah. <laughs> My mom's over here telling me what to do. And then we have Milady, who lives in Florida, and she is the, correct me, inter your international junior miss. Mm -hmm. um, she's the title, so she's the She's the national title holder. Mm -hmm. And then we have Kaylee, who she's from Georgia, and she is a full-time student. And she was in nursing, and I think she switched her major. And she works full-time, so she's very busy. And then we have Chastity, who's in Silver Spring, and she is an entrepreneur. She's 20 years old and an entrepreneur. She means she owns two businesses. So that's us. And and I'll, I'll explain. Uh, Peter Peter McDermott has been in Google Plus pretty much from the beginning. He's a, a pioneer in this new form of broadcasting, if you will. And um, I mentioned the show to him and uh, asked if he could just pop in and, and say hello. And if he has any questions for the panel, maybe he can ask some questions. But I wanted him to get a feel for what this show is about. It's called Pageant Live. Each uh -huh. Monday evening, they're going to talk about pageantry and all things related to that, talent, dance, whatever, modeling. Um, and they're probably going to push the show to 8 p.m. Uh, Paige, have you decided, are you going to push it to 8 p.m.? Have I haven't gonna? decided okay. yet. So we're not really sure. It's either 7 or 8 p.m. time slot. So, Peter, did you have any questions for the panel or anything or any comments? No, I mean, I, I just I appreciate all of your ambition and, and congratulate you girls on all the success you've had so far and uh, definitely look forward to learning a little bit more um, moving forward and, and if you guys are interested in having me uh, hang around with you, yeah, definitely uh, it shouldn't help out, Craig. Sounds, sounds good. Thanks, thanks Peter, for, for stopping in and um, hang, out, hang out as long as you like. They're, I think they're getting towards the end of the show. But I'm glad you could stop in before that that does happen. Um, Paige, is there anything else that that you wanted to talk about before you allow everybody to plug their websites and all that good stuff? Um, I think I was actually coming. I was coming to an end, um, but 
Yeah, yeah if you guys wanted to um, plug your websites or promote, promote yourself in any way, you can do this now. But yeah, I think I'm done with everything. So, Chastity, did you want to show us your websites real quick? I don't think Chastity has sound for some reason. No, I forget that it's on mute. <laughs> uh, but I, first, I did find that girl that was from my high school that competed. Um, I'll try to pull her up. Oh, hey, Andrew's coming on. But let me my screen share. Okay, while while she's pulling that up, uh, maybe uh, Milady can talk about her platform and any website addresses that she can give out where people can find more information about that. Okay, uh, definitely. Well, my platform when I was going into, or still currently, for the International Junior Miss program, being the international title holder, was drug abuse resistant education, since we deal a lot with drugs and it being abusive to our youth, and it's something I focused on throughout the year. Uh, being able, like I said, to be that voice throughout everywhere I went and traveling so much gave me the opportunity to do so. And being that inspiration for others to understand that it's okay to say no and it's okay to be different because that's what the world wants. It's people different, not anyone that just sticks around and is another face in the crowd. Um, when it comes down to website, I believe the only thing I really have is just Facebook currently and I think just normally if anyone just looks at my name Milady Delgado there's like pageant perfect has me on there especially international junior miss you can find me on there and definitely once I'm done with this title or once I uh, crown the new reigning queen then obviously there will be more because I get to just kind of let everyone know what I did throughout the year as international miss so I mean that's it for so far right Kaylee did you have anything no, I don't have anything. I don't have a Facebook or anything, so I deactivated that, but I don't have anything. Okay, and then um, my platform or what I'm very passionate about is bringing awareness of homelessness in the community. Um, I'm an active volunteer for Happy Helpers for the Homeless, and I feed the homeless in Baltimore and Glen Burnie, which is um, around Maryland close by. I'm an active volunteer with them and I feed homeless hands-on. Um, I think there is so much more homelessness in our area than people actually realize. I've actually seen people living in horrible conditions in the woods out in tents and I've actually had the opportunity to go out and feed these people and talk to them and see what they really need so it's really become a passion of mine. And then um, you can, if you'd like to contact me, you can go to pageantlive.com or also I have a Facebook international or Maryland International Junior Miss Paige Clark. And then I think Chastity is pulling up a website real quick for us. To yeah, um, this is a girl from my high school, Beautiful. Stacey. <gasps> Wait, she went to, she, to the, she went to college with me. Huh? She went to college with me. Her and her sister compete. That's weird. Yeah. She was Miss Teen Maryland or Miss Teen USA. She won something like that. That's so crazy. Her computer's been really slow, so I can't. Yeah. That is the only person I know who, from Southern Maryland who's been part of the pageant. Wow, I know and even her. then, it wasn't like that big. See, you know how, that's how small the pageant world is up here, because I actually, that's the only girl Chastity knows, and I know her. That's how small it all is up here. But, <laughs> alright, did, yeah, um, I, and then my business, oh yeah, you can see, let me do another screen share, one second, is my thing freezing up? Yeah, it was. Okay. Wait, you might want to share your screen again. You want to share? She was a nice person. I knew her a little bit. Alright, can you see this page? Uh, yes, it's loading. Yeah, it's now, okay, now it's it loaded in. It is, okay. Cool, so this is my shop on Etsy. Um, I do Christian art. I love Jesus 
And so my art talent sort of just falls into doing stuff for him. Um, it, I think it's very inspirational because people need to know who, like, really that Jesus loves you. And not only that, but it's just inspirational stuff. This is my blog website, cdnicole.com. And on here is more of my personal work that I've done since high school. I was in AD art, so we did a lot of things into different media. I'm pretty skilled with a wide range of media. I've done custom work for people, paintings, drawings, collages. I made a picture out of paper. I had paper and it turned out really cool. I don't have me on here. Um, this one that I did, I really like. It's made out of oil pastel and it's actually oil pastel and hot pastel is one of my favorite media to use. See that? It's Peter, so she, she also made the Pageant Live logo for us. Yes, she did. Oh, yes, Very I did. Oh, wow. Great. <laughs> it's really pretty. Thank you. And this other one is taking so long. I don't know why. Um, anyways. Ah, that was an important one, too. It was up before. But it's uh, filelinks.net slash chassis Williams. There, I have probably saved money on energy. I don't know if you all know, but Mar well, Maryland is part of the deregulation system, and Congress is really working with every state to deregulate energy because if you're not choosing your own energy, the state will choose it for you, and it's probably going to be the higher price. But my company, you can find your own energy source that you want at a cheaper price and pay that and save up to hundreds of dollars on your energy like if you're a business up to thousand dollars a year or if you're just your home a couple hundred and it's that my aunt saved fifty two dollars this one business saved over sixty thousand dollars so it's important and then we also have other stuff like cell phones to get cheaper and text alerts if a business wants more com more customers Send out your text alerts and people know when you're having sales or deals or discounts. It's quite interesting. There's a lot going on. So I really wish it came up, but I don't know what's going on now. Thanks, Chastity. That is very, mm -hmm. that is very nice. That is. Um, did you have anything, Peter? <laughs> No, no. no I, I, I'm sorry. I came in a little bit late. Craig You're just hanging uh, out. gave me the wrong time zone. Um, no, I, I did the wrong time zone. But no, I definitely look forward to uh, moving forward and learning more about you guys and, and the cool things you're doing. I, I'm really interested in the alternative uh, energy thing and uh, educating people more on that. So let's see what you guys are up to. Thank you. All right, and the lady, you're welcome back anytime. If you ever um, want to come back, you can just email me or text me. Yeah, and just let me know, you know, um, the time frame that you choose. And then Mondays I'm available. Just, like, definitely shoot me a text because, like, coming from school and all, I just I don't want to be late or anything. Okay, and then, Peter, thank you for coming to hang out also. And, and Milady, uh, keep in mind, if you have any, any friends in the pageant industry, maybe a, a coach or somebody that's helped you or, or whatever, and you'd like to invite them to come into the show to, to share you know, your experiences with them, uh, that Definitely, would be... I'm more than you know, more than happy to just tell them to come and hang out, and for them to also say a few words. It'd actually be very enlightening for each and every one of us to learn a little bit about each and every one of yeah. what we do. Sounds good, and and I'm I'm going to have a tip of the day for at the end of each show, and and my tip today is a website called NameCheck.com, but it's spelled M-A-N-E-C-H-K.com. And if you go to that website, and I, I, I would screen share it, but I'm just not going to take the time to do that right now. But it's namecheckchk.com. And you can check your brand name across all the various platforms on the Internet to see if it's available. And so many people start a business and they don't bother to check their brand or the name they're going to use for the business. They don't check it for availability. And so that's very important to do that step one. Whether you're a model, an actress, whatever, you need to create your own brand that you're hopefully going to keep with you for life. 
and you want to grab it on all these major platforms so that somebody else doesn't have it. So that's yeah. my tip for the day, and, and I think you all did a great job. I think the show is going to get better every week, and especially with people, people like Peter McDermott helping spread the word about it a little bit. Uh, we'll Thanks, Peter. get this thing going. Peter, we were going to do, um, I, I did that, I started with the Hangout on Air, but we were, I was having problems with it, and so then we just decided to just do a regular Hangout and uh, record it with ScreenFlow, so that's what we ended up doing. And we started late anyway, so if you'd have been on time, <laughs> it, it would, it would, you'd have been jumping in and out of Hangouts with us, so... Um, well, I was, I was a little confused because I got the invite and it said 6.20 and I'm like, oh good, he said 7 o'clock so he sent it real early because they were doing pre-show and I jump in and you guys are like, and to wrap it up today. <laughs> and, and, you, well, and you probably got several invites too, everybody else did too because we were in and out of hangouts left and right until we finally got it, got it right. So anyway, I appreciate everybody coming in and uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and stop the recording here. Uh, Peter, you didn't want to mention a website or anything? No, no, man. This, this is this is all about the girls and the and the cool things they're doing. Not about me. Great, everybody. Thanks for coming. You can stay in the hangout. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Everybody, wave. Oh, thank you. <laughs>